They say that necessity is the mother of invention. Have you ever had a great idea and didn't know how to turn it into reality? Maybe you have that idea right now. Well, SolidWorks can help you quickly turn that idea into reality and that invention into a business. Recently, while building this amazing tree house for my daughters, I came face to face with necessity. During some of the ground-based work, my wife and girls were a tremendous help. But for most of the High Wire Act, I was a one-man show. I pulled it off by building the structure in the driveway, taking them apart and bringing them up the tree stick by stick and reassembling them. It worked flawlessly until I got to the roof, when I ran into a problem that I didn't even see coming. As I was attaching polycarbonate panels to the roof framing, it dawned on me while walking around all sides to fasten the sheets that I wouldn't be able to do this so easily 25 feet up. What I needed was this. And what I had was this. I could throw a lot of money at this problem and rent a lift, but instead I did what any engineer with SolidWorks would do. I summoned my inner MacGyver and I went to my thinking spot for inspiration. I often walk these aisles with an open mind to see what jumps out at me. My problem is that I needed four feet of extra reach and a way to drive a screw. Got it. This will get me close and I've already thought of a way to make this work. I repurposed the tube from an old lamp. I can even use these nifty ridges inside. Looking what I have tells me what I still need to create. Beginning with the things I know, I can lay out my basics using SolidWorks intuitive sketching. Dimensions tidy up all the details. As I rough the design in, things are starting to take shape. I have a good idea of what kinds of stresses this will undergo and I'm confident that this shape can take it. Once again, I turned to my 3D walks, and in a few hours, my idea is resting in the palm of my hand. How cool is that? Alright, let's see how things go together. I was planning on a little brute force engineering where these two parts connect, but this wasn't anticipated. This is where a 3D printer can pay big dividends. If I were going to large scale production, this scrap 3D print may have just saved me my job. Alright, back to SolidWorks. I'm still at the stage where it's relatively cheap and easy to make a change. Let's get rid of the areas that's binding and smooth out the rest. A functional part can be pretty too. A quick check-in to SOLIDWORKS PDM and the history of this part's evolution is captured. If this idea doesn't pan out, I can easily go back to any previous version. The part looks better, but now I have serious concerns about the strength. SolidWorks simulation will quickly reveal any remaining issues or give me the green light with confidence. All that's left now is to print a new one and put my creation together to get this job done safely. I also bought a four foot steel rod to use as a drive axle. I even whipped up some bushings so the drive shaft doesn't slap against the inside of the boom. I 
As you can see, my idea worked like a charm. It solved my problem and it kept me safe. Hmm, maybe someone else out there could use one of these too. The SolidWorks Entrepreneur Program gives qualifying startups on a shoestring budget access to the industry's top tools. Even make patent drawings and marketing pieces directly from your CAD data. And if you don't have access to a 3D printer, GoEngineer provides full 3D print your part services and expertise to put your part in the hands of potential investors. Contact us at GoEngineer.com and put our decades of experience to work for you.